hello friends very good morning in last video we people have seen two different types of research and those two different types of research are basic oblique pure oblique fundamental research and another one we people have seen that was quantitative quantitative research let me give you some idea about these two types of two types of research okay basic research which was based on natural sciences and related to basic things after that we people have seen quantitative which was related to quantitative aspects or numerical aspects or measurement aspects of certain things now in today's video in this particular video we are going to talk about two different types of research again one is qualitative research another one we'll discuss later before going for the another one just i want to have some discussion with this type of research called qualitative research if you look at the name again this name reflects everything what is the name the name is qualitative research quality means what we, we have n number of qualities in our personality and that kind of personalities that kind of qualities we discuss in this particular type of research so see this kind of qualitative research discuss or deals with n number of phenomena relating to quality or related uh, types of qualities for example character personality and mankind are examples of variables used to measure qualitative qualitative research so in this qualitative research we are going to have a research on different types of quality of human being or any other uh, particular aspect for example if you take an example of human being there are different types of quality research those qualities can be character those qualities can be personality those qualities can be the talent of the person the qualities can be how he walks how he talks that can be discussed in this kind of qualitative research and one more thing that we are going to discuss in this kind of research called qualitative research word association test sentence completion test so such kind of tests are also uh, tested on on those kind of test also research can be undertaken so this kind of research is called as what qualitative research moving on to the next one that is another type of research that is conceptual oblique experimental research as name reflects everything experiments means what we do for n number of small type of experiments through the research and that kind of research which is used which is done by using some certain sort of experiments those can be called as what experimental research name reflects everything again in the name only the meaning of the meaning of research is given if you look at this conceptual concepts are created if you want to learn some concept if you want to make a research on some concept so, so concepts are created at the same time experiments are also taken place so if you want to learn this particular concept if you will have to go for some certain sort of experiments and then only research is conducted so as far as this kind of experimental research is concerned this kind of research are related to some abstract idea or theory see basically this kind of research is based on some abstract idea abstract idea means what the idea that people have not seen before that kind of things are called about abstract idea or theory you can create some theory as i told you n number of psychological theories are created by using this kind of research so Uh, this researcher what a researcher will do researcher will make some experiments and from the experiments whatever outcomes or results of that particular experiments are there those results or those outcomes will create a research for example n number of things we people have seen in last video i have given the example of maslow's need hierarchy theory so in that particular maslow's need hierarchy theory maslow has created five categories of human needs and from that those uh, human needs he has created one ex experiment and that experiments is useful to create a research so this way research is conducted and that kind of research is called as what experiment experimental research another thing that we are going to discuss here in this kind of research is to develop new concepts or to uh, to reinterpret existing ones so here in case of this experimental research we can develop new concepts new ideas and we can go for reinterpretation of existing ones suppose somebody has 
interpreted something and if we want to or if I, I want to or if you want to interpret again of that particular things that is possible in case of experimental research. So if I have conducted one experiment and some results are came out from that particular experiment if you want to go for that experiment again that can be done in the case of this experimental research. And the last one that we can cover under this category of experimental research is attempt to establish cause and effect relationship. See behind any sort of activity there is one cause. So here if you want to establish if you want to frame like this there is a uh, reason there is a cause and effect between these two types of variables that you can show in this category of research. So one more time I am going to repeat the last one attempt to establish. So by using this kind of experimental research you can make an attempt to create a relationship between or to you can create a relationship between cause and effect relationship between the concepts or be, uh, between the two variables. For example, attempt to establish case and effect relationship. What is this case and uh, sorry, what is this cause and effect relationship? If suppose see some activities are depend upon the reason. So that you are going to say how the activities are correlated, how the activities are related on or depend on each other that is possible by using this experimental research. So friends, experimental research is a live example, live experience that everybody has to take. If you want to show something, if you want to create something, first of all, you have to create an, create an experiment on whatever, whatever is the result of that experiment that can establish cause and effect relationship between two different variables. And here we people have seen last two uh, types of research which we people have seen in this particular video. Another video is also coming which is related to uh, other types of research and there we are going to see apart from whatever we have learned so far there are certain other types of research that we are going to highlight that we are going to discuss in upcoming video. Friends only this much for this. So here I must say thank you stay connected stay tuned.